welcome everybody to my new YouTube video today in Halloween style because we're going to be reviewing the Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sister Cottage set. It's the beginning of September. I'm already picking up my Halloween decorations, but there's like a heat wave going on in the Netherlands right now, so I feel kind of weird shooting a Halloween video. But you know, it's something that has to get done because I need to show you guys a truly magnificent Halloween themed set from Lego, which is the Lego Sanderson Sisters Cottage that came out last July. So one of the most iconic Halloween movies ever made has got to be the Disney Hocus Pocus movie with starring Bette Midler, Kathy Najimy and Sarah Jessica Parker. So this set is actually a Lego Ideas fan designer set. So this is Amber Vade, she's from Belgium and she created this magnificent set through the LEGO Ideas platform, reaching 10,000 supporters. And together with LEGO, she was able to build this. So the house is actually built in this 1700s style, because in the movie, the time and date was 1693, and the exterior, it just looks fantastic. Look at that, unbelievably done. And I mean, hi, I am born on Halloween. Um, so Halloween as a holiday is a pretty big deal to me. Hocus Pocus is one of the Halloween movies that I have watched like so many times that when this set came out, I just, I just knew that I had to get it. And I actually think this set is gonna make an excellent like little showcase uh, for a Halloween party. But I'll tell more about that in a second video that I'm gonna make. Next to that fantastic house, you will also get this little add-on here. It is a gate to the house. It has a little tree here. So much detail going on on just this gate. I mean, look at the tile work that says the S for Sanderson. And then here, when I remove the cat, you can see there's like little paw prints coming out. Those are just magnificent little details. And then what I really like here, there's a little graveyard here. These three graveyard signs being the one for Billy. I really love that. I just think it's such a pity he is not with this set. Then you've got Emily Binks who died on the 31st of October 1693. And then the th third one being a gravestone for Amber Vade. The designer is the Lego fan designer of this set. I'm assuming that the 18th of April is her birthday, but it is just such a very lovely touch to this set. And considering that there are a lot of graveyard scenes in the movie, it is very cool that they've added it to this. There's only one body. If I remember correctly, the Sanderson sisters are witches and therefore not able to touch hollow ground, are not able to enter a graveyard. So it's a pity that this is only on the inside of the gate, so actually attached to their own land. But they should not be able to walk here considering there, there are several graves here. But I will get back to that in my next video because you can make some really nice alterations to that. So, and I just love that you can move this fence around and put it any way you like. As you can see, there are some extra places here. Those are actually quite nice to put down your minifigures. Well, why don't we just discuss those at once? So with this set, you actually get six minifigures. Uh, first off being the three Sanderson sisters. So there is um, Sarah, who comes with two faces, and she has this lovely purple dress and a cape and her extra item is this little or po this little potion bottle then you've got Winifred who also has two faces she comes with this fantastic hair piece her green dress obviously such a beautiful dress and then her green cloak and she comes with two of these little lightning bolts that shoot from her hands and third one being Mary, who also comes with this delightful hairpiece. Her crooked mouth, two faces, and her lovely red and orange dress with a purple apron printed on it, her red cape, and she has a very large spoon which she uses to stir in the witch's cauldron. So the Sanderson sisters, everyone, and I have to say, these minifigs, they look amazing. So much detail, I love it. So then the other three minifigures are the three main characters or children from the movie. You've got Allison, 
wearing her jeans, a vest, little necklace printed on there. She also comes with two faces. And what I love is that they've given her this little element here, which is basically a carton of salt, which she also uses in the movie. And then you've got Max with a darker shade of jeans and his vest, the Max haircut. And he also comes with a scary face. <laughs> uh, it's a shame Max doesn't have his own little elements, unfortunately. And then last but not least is Max's little sister, Danny Dennison, who comes in this wonderful witch's attire because she was all dressed up for Halloween. I love her little hat. I love her little pumpkin colored cauldron. She has mini legs, but her, I mean, her hair piece, it is amazing. And she comes with a scaredy face, but also with this very cute face. Yeah, I really like this minifigure of Danny. I really do. And then, well, he's not actually a minifigure, but he is such an important character to the movie. Thackeray Binks as a cat. Meow. So the only minifigure that I'm actually missing here is Billy Butcherson. And I think that's such a pity. I really wish he would have been in there, but maybe hopefully someone will come up with the idea to just make an extra Billy Butcherson minifigure. So this is basically what to expect when you're buying the Disney Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sister Cottage. So this is an 18 plus set. It consists of 2,316 stones. The height of the house is 27 centimeters, 11 inch. And the sales price is 230 euros, which is expected for the amount of bricks that you get, plus a whole lot of new minifigures and very special items that were created just for this set. So let's have a look inside. So this being the front of the building, just I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more deeper. As you can see, there's some windows missing here, which is done intentionally. I truly love that. The house has a dual function. It represents both the late 1600s as well as the house depicted 300 years later. As you can see here, it has been turned into the Sanderson Witch Museum. Uh, so you're also gonna find details inside referencing to that. The house has several ways for opening up. Let me just turn it around. I'm gonna start here. So at the back of the house, there are these two doors that open up like such. And then you can immediately see uh, some depictions from the museum. So, so here, for example, there's some, uh, some rope. There are so many things going on inside. It is incredible. So immediately here up front, you can see the black candle. Such an amazing piece with an actual dark candle element. Uh, and because it is a part of a museum now, there's an actual sign next to it that will tell you everything about the black candle. And then in the middle of the cottage, you will immediately notice a cauldron. Lego has, has actually put in a light brick, especially for this cauldron. And I love that attention to detail. So there also is a chandelier here that actually turns around. And in the back over there is like a little cashier counter where you can pay for items that you buy at the museum. And next to this little please do not touch stand is a cabinet with book. You can open it up like this and take out the book. So unfortunately it is sticker work, but I think that is a very close depiction of what book should look like. There is a specially designed tile on the inside, which will tell you the ritual or the spell to take the life force of young children. And then the back of the book looks like this. Put it back here because you know, it's a museum. I also like the, the broom sign up there, just like in the, in the movie, there's a lot of candles, little, potion bottles laying around. So that is when you open up the back side. Now bear with me, I'm just gonna turn it around. Because here on the side, you can take this out. So that's how I was able to get to the book. But this side piece is also pretty cool. 
because there is a fireplace there, there is a, a cauldron hanging above the fire. I really love this little hourglass element that is in there. It has a lovely sticker for the back to represent like an, uh, an older piece of furniture. With this set you get this little skeleton. That is supposed to be Emily Binks. And if I don't want to keep her here, there is an extra little nook up here, right above the stairs. And then when we go up, and this is actually pretty cool, so the roof can open up like this. There's a little piece of Technics involved, and that will give you an amazing view of the upstairs level. What you can immediately notice are these two little cages with skeletons in there. Those, of course, being Jay and Ice, the two bullies. I think it's really fantastic that they are here in this set because they are such an important piece of the Hocus Pocus story and also because I do not like bullies and I just think these guys finally got what was coming for them. The only thing I do not like about these little cages is that because the, the cage it, it's only attached on these two points and then everything else just kind of folds in. I, I mean, I attached a skeleton to this one because it kept falling out and you just put them down like this, but it also means that you're playing around with it like, like we do. Then, you, then you're probably going to have to be adjusting the bars all the time. Love it. I also love the, the, the huge cobweb with the spider of the fact that there is a bat. And when I showed you the stairs that you're actually going up into the house, it is not so greatly visible once it's done. But while I was building it, I had so much fun building this huge Sanderson sisters bed. The, the duvet is actually three parts, three different colors, depicting each of the Sanderson sisters. And right next to the bed, there is this little storage corner with a broom, a mop and a vacuum machine, which are the three items that the Sanderson sisters actually use to fly out on. It just looks great from up here. There's like little stickers on the sides, uh, extra candles. It looks really nice. So beautifully done. And then you close it off like that again. So the witches are getting ready to perform their spell. Sarah is putting on her singing voice. And here's a little extra piece of techniques. The water wheel outside, you can turn it and there is actually pink smoke coming out of the chimney to lure those fantastically and delightful children into their ways. So the Sanderson sisters people, beware of them. So yes, this is a great set for any Halloween lover, Sanderson sister lover, or maybe even someone who's just into medieval houses. So yes, a big thank you to Ember Vade and the Lego designer team for recreating this wonderful Sanderson sister cottage and creating such a beautiful Halloween themed set. Absolutely love it, but I wonder what you guys think of it. Let me know, share with us in the comments below. Oh, and by the way, don't forget next week there is an additional part two video coming out where I will be adding a whole lot more to my Sanderson sister set. So, don't forget to subscribe and watch that video as well. Thank you for your time. Until next time. Bye.